Please go. Don't do this to me. Okay. Okay, I'll go, but there's something that I want you to know first before I do go. I was furious with you earlier when you kissed me. I was angry. I was bitter. And I was frightened. I was frightened because you made me realize something. Something that I haven't wanted to admit. There's a bond between us, Luke. A bond that we can never break. Laura. No, I don't mean because you raped me. Maybe it's because I saved your life when I threw those car keys over the cliff. I mean, I heard once that when you save a person's life, you interrupt their fate, their destiny, and then you're responsible for them. I don't know, maybe that's, uh, maybe that's why we're tied together forever. It's more than that. I love Scotty Luke. I love my husband, and I want to be his wife completely. What are you trying to say to me? What you tried to say to me the night Roy was killed, I am trying to say goodbye, Luke. That's what you want? Yes. Yes, and please stay away from me. I will stay away from you. I don't want to know what's happening in your life. I, I don't want to worry about you. I don't want to care. Goodbye, Laura. I'll always love you. Goodbye, Luke. He's wonderful. He's bright, he's witty, and a great dancer. That's important. Oh, Daddy. Oh, I'm glad you like him, Jennifer. Oh, I'm thrilled that you approve. He seems perfect for you. Oh, and I adore his family. His sister Bobby and his Aunt Ruby. The Baldwin girl again. What? Aren't you listening to me? Oh, yeah. Laura Baldwin, a cute girl. Very prominent parents. Why she was working here, but that'd be great fun. Interesting. What's interesting, Daddy? Oh, nothing really. Not important. <laughs> I'm, you're going to have to excuse me. I have to find Bill Watson. We have the unfinished business to take care of. Have a great time, darling. <laughs> No, I'm fine, fine. It's been a long evening, that's all. How do you think our girl's holding up? I think she'll do a lot better if we all just leave her alone. I care about the girl. We all do. Well, how would you feel if you were with all your friends and you Look. thought they were watching your every step? Quite tight. Something bothering you, Brad? I don't know, maybe it's just my imagination. What's the matter? Am I dressing the proper attire for this disco joint? Well, sure you are. Why? Every time I keep looking over, I see Scotty looking at me, and he's giving me some bad vibes, you know? What do you think? Oh, it's your imagination. You gonna be finished soon? I just have to deliver these checks, and then I can change. How did it go? I didn't realize it would be such hard work. Uh, you'll get the hang of it. Uh, honey, is Laura all right? Why do you ask? I just get the feeling something's wrong. Why do I get the feeling that people are staring at us? That's because we're the best looking couple out here, that's why. I'm sure your mother won't mind if we don't come by. Scotty, we have to. Okay. It's good holding you again. I love you. Thank you. 
Is there something I can do for you? I just wanted to thank you for this evening, Luke. It was very interesting. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Well, we always do, especially in such a fine establishment. Good drinks, good company. The staff is very attentive, Luke. That's why I think you'll be of real value to us in the deal I spoke to you about. Thank you. Speaking of staff, there's one girl I'm curious about. Who is that? Laura Baldwin, the girl who came out of your office a while ago. What about her? Who is she really, Luke? I mean, who is she to you? Well, she's a, a girl who works here. Uh, she did work here, actually. This was her last night. I just gave her her final check. Why do you ask? I think there must be some kind of mix-up. Tonight wasn't Laura Baldwin's last night working here. You see, Luke, a girl like that can be a real asset to us, to this place. So you get her back here working. Well, I'll try, Mr. Smith. No, look, you'll do it, or else. We want her here, where we can keep an eye on her. It's a real mess. Last night was Laura's last night at work. She was putting her outfit away in the closet of my office. Somehow the door closed on her and it got jammed. So? So I came into the office with Mr. Smith and Watson to talk business, organization business, to talk about where we're going and what I'm into right now. And Laura heard? Yes. Why, for heaven's sake, didn't she let anybody know she was in there? She was scared. She was embarrassed. I don't know. But she got herself a real earful. She'd be pretty stupid now if she didn't know everything that's going on with me. Oh, Lou. That's not the worst. Watson saw shadows moving under the door, so he figured out that somebody was in the closet listening. So he and Mr. Smith waited outside my office, and they saw Laura come out. They know that Laura heard them talking? Yeah. So now the word is I've got to get her back to work and keep her mouth shut, or else. How long have you got? Two weeks. And then she's in big trouble. And I'm in bigger trouble. Bobby, how am I going to get somebody who doesn't want to ever look up in my ugly face again to come back to work for me?